Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you an automation technique by which you can create the database of your members that you have in your membership website. So guys, to create a membership website, we are using Wishlist member plugin of WordPress, which can turn your WordPress website into a, a membership website and you can provide different kind of levels of memberships through that. And here, let me show you how it's going to work. So this will be the flow of this automation guys. Here as you add a member in wishlist member website in a level, the same members data is going to be transferred here and will be added here in a new row in Google Sheets application automatically. Okay, so many a times we need to save the data of our members to nurture them or to engage them. So guys here you need not to copy the data manually and paste the ma data manually in Google Sheets that will take a huge amount of time of yours but this automation is going to save a lot of your time and your manual efforts and to make this happen we are using Pavli Connect which is an integration and automation tool and guys anyone can set up this automation very easily because you need not to have any coding skills or programming knowledge to set up this automation. So guys, let's set up this automation together. So first of all, you need to log in into your Pavli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect application, which is an integration and automation tool we are using to set up this automation. So guys, to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so sign up right now and log in to reach here. And after reaching here, just click on this create workflow button. And here you can give any name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as wish list to Google Sheets automation. Actually it is wish list members. Okay, the, the name of this plugin of WordPress is wish list members and we are connecting it with Google Sheets. So this is how you can give a name you can give any name according to you after that just click on this create button and you can see your workflow is getting ready here and on this page you will see these two things the trigger and the action so our automation work on these two things so the trigger is the happening of that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger as in our use case the trigger would be a new member added in a level in wish list members website that you have created and the action towards the trigger would be to add the same member in a row in Google Sheet application. Okay, so first of all you have to set up this trigger here. So uh, the trigger here is adding of a member in wishlist. So our trigger application is wishlist member. So you have to search for it from this menu and you will see this logo wishlist member select it and you have to select the trigger event now which would be a add, uh, member added to level okay so it will trigger when a new member is added to the level select this okay and it will give you this url this is called as a webhook url guys and it is used to fetch the data out from any external application to here in Pavli connect okay so by following these instructions written here you can make this connection with the help of this url so let me show you how exactly we can make this connection. So first of all, just copy this uh, webhook URL from here and reach your WordPress applications dashboard. And guys, this is my WordPress and here I have installed this wishlist member plugin. Okay. And here guys, I am in the member section. You can see this is the back end of our website and these are the members I had already. Now let's create a new member here. You can see guys, sorry, uh, to, before adding a new member, we are going to make this connection with the help of this webhook URL and to do that, uh, here you can see we have this setup option here under the wishlist member, click on setup. So under this setup, you can see we have this integrations option, click on integrations, okay. And under integrations, uh, you will see this other services tab, click on other services. Okay, and here you will find this webhooks option, click on it. And under the webhooks section, click on outgoing option. 
Okay, so you have to enable this webhook section. You can see we have enabled this. Then come to outgoing section and under the outgoing section, you will find the membership levels that you are providing to your users. So we have public connect level, we have the silver level, the golden level, my level, okay, whatever. So let's say that I want that whenever I add any member to the silver level membership, then the workflow will run and send the data of that person to Google Sheet. So here you just have to click on this edit icon to silver level add the silver level icon and here you can see when added option is here and under when added you will find this outgoing webbox urls box and under this box guys you have to paste this webhook url that you have copied from babli connect paste it here <clears throat> in this outgoing urls box like this then click on save and you can see a new webhook is sa saved here so click on save and close. Okay. And here you can see guys, uh, as I have copied this webhook URL, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. So this means now you have to perform a test submission. So what is a test submission guys, you have to uh, go back to your uh, wishlist member application and manually you have to add a member to a level. Okay, so that will act as a test submission. And as you add a member in a level, the data of that member is going to be captured here as a test data. And with the help of that data only, we are going to set up this automation further. Okay. So I'm going back here and I am going to the members section and under the member section, I'm clicking on this plus sign here. You can provide, uh, the details of your test member. So let's say my test member is Neeraj gen okay the email of this person is this the membership level is the silver level the username okay so you can provide any username also okay you can pr uh, provide manually a password also or you can auto generate a password as well okay so this is auto generated password if you want to send a notification to your user, you can send an email notification. If you do not want to send it, you can select do not send. Okay, right now I'm selecting do not send. In when confirmation do not required. If you want to send the confirmation, you can use this option. Right now I am leaving this as it is. Now I am clicking on add member. <clears throat> and you can see. Okay, so the email I have entered is already in the database. So let me select, uh, change this email address a bit. Okay. So you can see the member is getting added here in silver level membership in our wishlist member plugin. Okay. So you can see this is a test member I have created. Now let's see in public connect if we got the data of this test member captured or not. And you can see in this response section, we got the data of the test member captured here like this. It is showing us the email, the login username, the first name, the last name and the level as well. Okay. This is how we can capture the test data. Now I want to send the data of this person to my spreadsheet here that I have created in Google Sheets application. Here you can see we want the data of the person uh, that I have added in wish list like this, the first name, the last name, the email and the level. Okay. Now to send this data, you need to connect your uh, Google sheet application in this action step. So search for Google sheets. Okay. Select the action event as add new row <clears throat> and click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google sheets. Okay. From here, you have to select the Google account by which you have created that sheet. Then you have to provide a few additional accesses to public connect to make this connection. Just click on continue and the authorization will be successful like this. And you will see that will be connected in a few moments like this. Okay. So we are now connected and here it is asking to select the spreadsheet there in which you want to add the data. So guys, I have this spreadsheet. The name of the sheet is wishlist member. So you have to search for it in this field. Okay, so it will show you all the spreadsheets that you have in your Google Sheets application from here, select your spreadsheet in which you're working. And after that, the sheets name will be selected like this. 
okay so it got selected automatically here because we have only one sheet right now the name of which is level so it got selected here and now it is asking for the first name the last name in the email and the level so these are nothing but the column the headers of the columns we have here in my spreadsheet okay so to get these things filled we are going to map the data that we have received in the first step from wishlist members website okay so to map these this label these labels here you just have to come down to this field just click on the first name and you will see this wishlist option in the drop down and from here only map the first name then map the last name similarly and the email and the level okay so guys when you map the data like this what will happen whenever you create a new uh, member in a level or any of your user is going to uh, take your membership from your website these labels is going to change automatically and every time a new person takes your membership or of your website the data of that person is going to be added here in the spreadsheet let me show you how so guys we are done mapping the data now I'm going to click on save and send test request and the test data will be sent here to Google Sheet application. Okay, so let's check our connection. I'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the response we have received. Let's check in the spreadsheet. And you can see the third row added here with the same details that we have mapped in these labels. Okay, so connection is working fine. We are done setting up this automation. So uh, you can see in the trigger I connected with list member. And in the action, I connected Google Sheets and we are done. And guys, you have to set up this automation only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually. After that, it is going to run automatically. And as and when any of your user takes your membership from your website, you will see the data of that member here in your spreadsheet automatically. And guys, the best part is you can use the same workflow that I've just created to set up this automation because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.